Hey everybody, plus this game check out LGC Games. Welcome back to another installment of Big City Stories. You are the only player here. Well, yeah. Uh, it's time to collect. Oh, Luigi, I'm back. I can repair your vehicle if you drive through the car. Oh, that's what that does. Hold on. Give me a second, Luigi. Let me go back to... No, what? There's Town Hall. Okay, so I can fast travel. That's cool. Let me get to Luigi. But it's called Gary's. You can repair your vehicle anytime. It's on the house, Mayor. Because I'm the mayor. So am I finally done with you? I am. That's all I had to do. Well, I feel... Whatever. Oh, look, the police station. My bad, officer. Please don't... Whoa, what? What is that noise? Chief Eric Detainer. These names, though. Hi, Mayor. I'm your police chief, Eric Detainer. While ordering business cards, I realized our town doesn't have a name. Please name it. Okay. Hmm. Give your city a new name. The Nameless City. You guys did not register that the last time? That name has a nice ring to it, Mayor. The, the voice that I see, I hear in my head for him is not coming out of my mouth. Mayor, while well, the police station is a commercial building, it can still contribute to the bottom line. The police station has a positive area of effect, which boosts protection of neighboring buildings. Well, that's nice. Why don't you move the police station near your windmill or commercial building to boost its production? I don't mind. I can use a new view. I'm just going to go with the country day right now. Seems like a good spot. Uh, hello, Eric Tainer. This is a perfect place for the station. Remember to consider the area of effect of your buildings. Huh. We're done with you, sir? That means my car is not here anymore, doesn't it, though? Oh, Lord. Where were you before? Over here somewhere. And there's my car. Oh look, we got a new bus after that last one disappeared.
Jeez, the people in here are like brick walls. And I run like an idiot. Mayor, your city has plenty of construction ahead of it, and you're going to need a large fence force of workers to help realize your goal. The store is a great place for receiving resources as you set new goals for your city. Transutopia recommends you recruit some workers from the store now to give you a strong foundation for expansion. The first pack is on the house. Thank you so much. Weird. Ooh, 17. I'm gonna do so much with that. I got a cash stash. Give me cash, what? I need to stick to what I'm supposed to be doing right now. All right, Miss Ocean Sky. Remember, if you need ever need resources before starting a large construction project, the store is a great way to get started. Thank you, Elaine. So much. So is oh, back to town hall. Wait, how did I get a Luigi's? Or rather, Gary's, but the owner is Luigi. Who cares? I'll just go straight to town hall then. Hey, Marine. Mayor, our city is headed in the right direction. Wait. Maintain the momentum by upgrading your town hall. This will unlock new buildings and let you construct more roads. Sure. Why not? Ten work. Jeez. Wasn't that pretty? Nice job upgrading your town hall. Unlock new buildings. Mayor, your service building. Ah, service buildings hold the key to expansion. In order to continue to unlock new buildings to construct, you'll need to upgrade your service buildings. Let's start by upgrading the water tower. After all, we need the we need to support the growing goldfish craze striking our residential sector. Goldfish? Did you say goldfish? Oh, okay. Sure. Goldfish. She said goldfish. That, that's what she said. That's the window. With a larger water tower, our citizens will be able to flush down anything without having to worry about a shortage. Yeah, that's just wrong. Mayor, you're doing a terrific job, att uh, job attracting commerce. We need more residents to feel these, fill these new jobs. Houses are great, but an apartment complex is even better. Constructing the, LA, the La Hacienda apartments will bring in more residents. Why does that sound familiar? I can't wait to rearrange this thing. Yeah. Excellent job, Mayor. Our city is on its way to prosperity. Yay! Mayor, the cab companies are enraged by competition from ride sharing. They're losing business and need your help. The cabbies want you to build two single-story houses to increase their customer base. 
Adding more customers will let cabbies stay in business. What? 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 New homes, no cars. Where's the other house at? Probably did. I'll have to rearrange that later. Let me get some other stuff done while I get other stuff done. The new residents will take cabs all over town, solving our problems. Good for them. <clears throat> Mayor, the cab companies still can't compete, and they blame you. They can go away. They think their profits will increase if you upgrade the professional business block. What? what? A bigger commercial sector means more people will need to commute to work. Why not? You know, it's, hey, it is what it is, right? Oh, I didn't mean to stay there. Whoa. What? That's... What? 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 Mayor, as our city grows, the overall ecosystem. Consider the overall ecosystem. When you construct buildings, you produce the wildlife habitat. You can help by building parks. How did I even get to talk to you? I wasn't trying to talk to you. Why does it matter which park I build? This will give us long taxi queues. Mayor, even with the upgraded professional business plan, you know, the cabbies can just go screw themselves, okay? I, I don't care anymore. They're rude anyway. They've decided to bring their case to the public by holding a special vote. They want voters to regulate ride sharing to make it fair for cabs. Well, then do that. Merlin, press one. And the voters agree. Ride sharing services will be required to behave more like taxis under the new referendum. Unfortunately, leveling the playing field means a third of ride sharing drivers must now be rude, obnoxious, or belligerent. I don't see why they have to be those things, but okay. Mayor, the ride sharing services won't comply with the new, ru new rules. Instead of hiring rude drivers, they will leave town. Bye! Our citizens are very upset by this departure. Even though they voted for the new regulations, our citizens demand you do something. I'm going to sit back, chillax, and mind my business. Y'all should have just shut up from the beginning and let it go. Mayor, go talk to Duran. Oh, not this guy. He can help. Sure, I'll talk to Duran after I finish with this lady over here.
I enjoy meditating in the new park. You, you're welcome. Crazy lady. Mayor, your new park is attracting exotic species. Wild orchids are blossoming everywhere, and they, some of them are rare. The orchids are scattered around town. Collect ten plants so we can cultivate them? Why? They're rare. Why are we cultivating? Can't we just leave them alone? Can't we just let the plants be? You trying to preserve, but you're trying to do other stuff too. I don't know. What in the world? No? Okay. <sighs> Could you take me where I need to go? Come back to me in a car. Well, I tried that and you wouldn't get in. You know what? Screw you. You can walk. You, sir, can walk, okay? There's all the hitchhikers all of a sudden. I'm supposed to be looking for these rare orchids. Hmm, I can't drive over them. Which seems weird, but... Why didn't driving over and get it? I hate you. Oh, looks like I need a new car. Plants will thrive in our care. Thanks for your help, Mayor. Welcome. I guess I'm going to talk to you right now. I'm going to go talk to... What's-his-face? No, I don't want to talk to you. Uh, I'm a delivery driver. Tells me he was hit on the way here. I need those parts for this weekend's race. Help me collect them. No, I refuse. A smart car? Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah, sure, whatever. I'm torn by this. While I despise regulations, I admit the cabbie's ruthless use of them, admire the use of them to vanquish the competition. But I understand your situation and I can help. There's a market of demand for rideshare services and nobody to fill it. Some would see this as a problem, but I view it as an opportunity. That's why I couldn't pick the guy up. Mayor, you could provide the ride share services, thereby appeasing your citizens and making a profit. Best of all, it's easy and fun. All you have to do is drive around looking for pedestrians who need a lift. Stop near someone with a hitchhiking thumb and they'll get into your car and give you directions. If you do a good job, they'll give you a good rating and a fat tip. Well. Explains a lot.
Here you go. You're welcome. Give me a tip. I'm never giving you a ride again. Thank you. You're in the car. What's wrong with you people? Why is no one's light green again? What what are you even coming over here to do? Wait, he's gone. I can see the shining green light in the background. Mm-hmm. Well, give me mine. Well, that was anticlimactic. I didn't get any tips. You guys suck. It was a wonderful driver. Best driver you've ever had. Can't none of you drive. Great job, Mayor. You can earn extra cash any time you want by driving your citizens around. You liar! Anyway, I think that's enough for today. So, I'll get you guys in the next episode. Peace. This would be some long taxi cues.